Welcome back to the Reina's Kitchen right here on YouTube. We are almost at 25K. Thank you guys for the support, the follow, the shares, the comments, everything. So today we're making some curry chicken, some curry chicken bok with some chicken breasts. You know, you can mix any meat. You can use the thigh, whatever part of the chicken. So this was so good filled with all my natural seasoning. I have my green seasoning. I even added some white sweet potato, not just any sweet potato, but the white sweet potato. So let's dive right in. So I used three pounds of chicken, about a pound of chicken breast. Um, so yeah, see how big the chicken breast is. This is actually the chicken breast with rib meat. All right, just cut it up in small pieces and that's the chicken back right there. I have seen a box, a 40 pound box of chicken back for like $18, but at the supermarket, it's on the dime. So you can get five pounds for less than $2. So this is what I'm using here. And I cook this often. So I have different videos of the chicken or when I'm prepping. So that's what you saw before. So I have my onion, scallion, thyme, ginger, garlic, pimento. I have my green seasoning right there, about two tablespoons. And I also have, that's a better pack curry my all-purpose seasoning, about two tablespoons, or you can use like a tablespoon of all-purpose and a tablespoon of chicken season. That's what I'll do sometimes if I have both. So this is what the white sweet potato looks like. It's called bonita. If you see it at the farmer's market, um, some Jamaicans call it boniata, bonita, whatever you want to call it. But this is it right here. You can also use this to make some sweet potato pudding. Yes, I have that recipe on my channel. You can scroll down also. Okay, so I'm just cutting this up in small pieces because if you don't have the white, this sweet potato, you can use a regular white potato. White sweet potato, you know, we call it Irish potato of Jamaica. All right, so I've already washed, cleaned the chicken, lime vinegar and everything, pat dry. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons, like I said, of the all-purpose seasoning. I'm adding one tablespoon of the better pack curry to the chicken, and then I'm gonna add another tablespoon to the, when I'm, you know, cooking up everything in the pot to toast my curry a little. And you know, um, curry, anything curry needs a little bit of salt. So probably about half a teaspoon of salt. Everything in moderation, a little pepper um, as well. I did add some scotch bonnet pepper. If you don't have scotch bonnet pepper, you can always substitute and add some jerk seasoning. Like, you know, give it that extra kick or you can use some habanero. So yes, even though I did add some green seasoning. I still add fresh seasoning to everything that I cook. I added about one onion, it's diced, about a quarter of green sweet pepper, about four stalks of scallion. I add about half a teaspoon of ginger, garlic, some crushed pimentos, which are all spice berries. Add a little thyme, scotch bonnet, pepper, or habanero. If you don't have that, use some jerk seasoning. And you don't have to season overnight, because I don't, unless I'm cooking like a big 20 pound pot, I'll leave it in the pot overnight, but you can just season and go or let this marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so I start with my favorite oil of choice, coconut oil. It just gives the food a different flavor. So I purchased my coconut oil, it's organic um, coconut oil from Costco. So yes, and it's very inexpensive. Um, it's like less than $12. All right, so I'm just toasting my curry on medium heat. Don't burn your curry because it'll make your curry chicken taste bitter and you don't want that. This is optional. Some people do it, some people don't. But if I'm cooking like 20 pounds of chicken, I don't have time to toast curry. It's on the chicken and I'm dropping it in my big Dutch pot. But since this is like three pounds of chicken, hey, you can do that, all right? And it just brings out the flavor um, in the curry. It doesn't have anything to do with people say curry gear running belly if you don't burn it no you cannot burn curry all the time i grew up in a restaurant and trust me when we're cooking 20 30 pounds of chicken in a big dutch pot we don't have time to burn curry because it would never reach the top of the pot as you can see i am adding the seasoned meat with all the seasoning to the pot just put it in just like that and you know just toss it around for like anywhere from two to three minutes just to you know, like, it's like browning up your chicken, but it's just gonna give that curry color. And 
saying if y'all can smell the aroma it's always like food <laughs> when you walk outside the door my neighbors be coming like what are you cooking i can smell it all right so it's been in the pot probably about about five minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and drop my potatoes in as you can see it's looking fabulous already don't forget to hit that subscribe button that notification bell while we're here make sure you're following me on instagram as well all the platforms at the rainers kitchen and right here on youtube make sure you hit that subscribe button again and that notification bell all right and i normally cut up the potatoes i just have them sitting in water or they'll oxidize and start changing to you know like a brownish looking color so just leave them in the water um once you cut them up and the curry chicken does not take long to cook Within 15 to 20 minutes, it should be ready. I did add about another tablespoon of green seasoning. So that's about three tablespoons of green seasoning I added to this recipe. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of water, not much, um, cause you know the chicken always springs its own juices. All right, so probably about half a cup, if that much, um, just a little <laughs> to give it some gravy. And when it cooks down, because the potato is in there, it's going to thicken up the gravy as well. If your gravy is not thick enough, you can also add cornstarch or you can add flour. And this is what it looks like after cooking for, like I said, about 20 minutes. Everything is looking fabulous. The curry looks nice and rich. It was very flavorful. And if you have no access to Better Pack, you can actually find a lot of these seasonings. All the seasoning that I use on my Amazon storefront, I will definitely leave the link in the description box so you can enjoy your curry chicken with some food, some dumpling and banana, some yam, or you can eat it with some rice, white rice, rice and peas, some plantain, some avocado, pear, tomatoes, whatever you prefer. All right, I hope you did enjoy this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.